Welcome back to Doing Time with Dan. Today we're going to talk about airline food. Everybody loves to complain about the food on an airplane, but we're here at Doing Time with Dan to help you do something about it. Now this first meal I make is very, very simple. It's a salad with a ham and cheese sandwich and a few other accessories, nothing complicated. Just something to get you started and think about what you can do to help yourself when you're traveling so you can eat just a little bit better and have a little bit of fun while you're at it. So let's head down to the Doing Time with Dan kitchen and check out the most basic airline meal. Okay, here we are in the Doing Time with Dan kitchen at the counter, and here is my most basic carry-on meal. If you're sitting in coach, this meal will work out just great for you. It is the simplest one that I do. I have several others, but first, let's keep it easy, all right? Let's not get too complicated. Now, everything fits here in this bag, so when you're going through security, you throw it right on the belt, they x-ray your sandwich, you're good to go as you get inside. Now, let's open this up and take a look at what we got. We're gonna go to the main dish first. And like I said, I kept this simple. It all fits into a dollar store plastic container. I paid exactly $1 for this container. So you're not out a whole lot of money. I use a rubber band just to keep everything closed up. Okay, so you open the top and inside, what do we have here? We have Lipton tea and honey. You can mix this with water so you don't have to pay for a drink on the plane. You just ask for a glass of ice water, mix that in, you have a refreshing drink. We have a plastic fork here. We have a salad. And notice inside the salad, I have uh, carrots and radishes, iceberg lettuce. You could make a spinach salad or anything else you'd like. And I use one of these other dollar store cups. I paid a dollar for six of these. So the only reason I'm making a point of how much all this cost is, if you have to throw all this away when you get to your destination, you're not out a whole lot of money. So that's our salad and dressing right there. And inside, I have basically a half a ham and cheese sandwich. I'm gonna open that up and show it to you in just a few seconds. Okay, but here's your, uh, the bottom side of your plastic dollar store container. I have a paper towel in here, which is great, because you're gonna use that for your placemat when you're sitting at the table. Just open that up like that, set your dish on top, move it over here into the frame, take out your dressing, and you're gonna pour out your salad. All right, there we go. And as you can see, that's a fair amount of salad there, okay? Chunky there, carrots, celery, all kind of good stuff. Take your dressing. I choose an Italian vinaigrette, something that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Pour that on. And you have your fork. You're ready to go. That's your salad. Great way to start a meal on an airplane. Not too heavy. Now you're looking for something a little more substantial, so we're going to get into the ham and cheese. So you're finished with this. You might want to save this for later, put all the trash inside, and then get rid of it or take it back and rinse it out, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to put it on the side for right now. Now this is the ham and cheese sandwich. Now notice that I also wrapped it in a paper towel right away in case you can't wash your hands or need an extra paper towel to keep things tidy. I like a whole grain bread. It stands up better and uh, lasts a little bit longer than your white bread. You can make whatever you want, but you can see that's a pretty good sized sandwich. For a two, three, even a four hour flight, that'll hold you over. Now you say to yourself, well Dan, that's okay, but I need some accessories. And that's what we have in the Dan accessory pack. Now in here, I pack some crackers and cheese, commonly available at any grocery store or convenience store. That'll uh, help fill you up, give you some crunch with your meal. I also made my own pack of peanuts and pistachios. These are really good, and it's more than you're going to get in those little bags on the plane. So they also help to fill you up. Peanuts and have a lot of protein in them, also a lot of fat, so be careful with that. And then in the rest of the accessory pack, we have some Charmin to go five toilet seat covers. In case you have to make some magic in the bathroom, that's gonna come in real handy to stay clean. An extra paper towel, and of course, one of these handy wipes. These things work great. Keep you nice and clean and refreshed at the end. And you say, well, okay, that's nothing exciting. And, of course, we always pack a couple of cocktails with us, these little Jack Daniel bottles. They're great to finish off your meal, put your head back, take a nap, and before you know it, you're at your destination. This is the most basic meal that I make. I have some others that involve Italian flavors, Asian flavors, things like that. But I wanted to start out with the most basic salad, ham and cheese, some nuts and crackers, just enough to get you by on a relatively short flight. And there you have it, the most basic airline meal. Anybody can make that. Stop at your local dollar store, pick up those containers, 
Load up your flavors, however you like it, a ham and cheese sandwich, or maybe you like roast beef, whichever you want to do. Just put it in there. Keep it in the fridge overnight or in the morning just for a couple of hours so it's nice and fresh when you get on the plane. Now, I have a couple of other meals that I'm going to make. One is called Hawaiian Happiness. That one's pretty exciting. Got a lot of interesting stuff in the accessory pack there. And there's also one that's Italian flavored and an Asian flavored one. So you want to stop back frequently here at Doing Time with Dan for the latest in airline food that you can pack for yourself. And there is plenty of information online, so don't complain. Get out there, pack your own meals, and have a great flight. Thanks for stopping by here at Doing Time with Dan. Stay tuned for more exciting travel tips, information about my favorite island of Aruba, and of course those great videos from flying small airplanes.